Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So how do you know where you are on the journey? Are you at the beginning? Are you at the end? Are you in the middle? Where are you? What stage are you at? And how do you really understand what stage you're at? How do you know how long you're going to have to wait for your divine masculine? Well, let's get something really straight here. Those questions are all questions of mind and ego. Remember, this is an awakening journey. Now, how do you know if your divine masculine has shifted is because it will reflect in your energy. Remember, they are a mirror of your energy. This is an energetic connection. What is going on in the physical form really is irrelevant. Now, I know that might trigger some of you. I know some of you because I've seen a lot of comments over the last few days and people going on, you know, my DM's doing this, my DM's doing that. That's not the journey. The journey is a spiritual journey. The journey is about your ascension. Now, I know that my words don't feed into that ego mind and that addictive energy. It is much easier and I will guarantee it would be much easier for me to just pull out cards and tell you what Divine Masculine is doing. But that is not really going to give you an inner standing, inner standing, which is a soul level standing of really what is occurring on the journey. So you can start to really shift. How you know what divine masculine, what stage they're at, how they're shifting, if they're moving, it, how the journey is going, is by your energy. Remember, this is an energetic connection, you're one soul. So whatever they are reflecting to you is a trigger for you to work through. Remember, and I really want to stress, you know, really take check here because Twin Flames is used like a modern day um, buzzword. It's the trend, isn't it, to use Twin Flames. This is a very serious journey. This is a, a journey of awakening. It's a journey of ascension. Your other soul, i.e. the divine masculine, came in to activate you. And they will come in to activate, to trigger you. What they are triggering you is to trigger all that fear, lack, abandonment and betrayal vibration out of you. You are here to vibrate into a higher consciousness, to start your ascension path. I cannot stress this enough. And still, <laughs> sometimes I think, do people actually even watch my videos? Because... Some people just go on about, well, my divine masculine's doing this. Say this about my divine, ma my divine masculine. I hate him. I'm this. I don't. That's not the journey. And maybe, maybe if you're in that frequency over it, it's time to look. Did you go through dark night of the soul? Are you seeing spiritual synchronicities? Are you feeling drawn to meditate more, to get out in nature? Or are you still just completely stuck in 3D? Because if you're not catapulted into dark night of the soul, if you haven't had a Kundalini activation, and if your core wounds are not activated, I hate to say it, but you may be not on a twin flame journey. And as I say, twin flame label is batted around like it's some higher uh, higher up status than soulmates. It's completely different. There is no higher twin flame or soulmate. It's a different, completely a different journey. Soulmates is that it is two individual souls that come in and that are there to grow together, to expand together. Sometimes soulmates come in for your whole life. Sometimes they come in for a short amount. A twin flame activates. They activate you. you they activate your kundalini, and that is, and they catapult you into a very rapid rapid, rapid awakening journey. 
it is confusing on the mind. Everything that was once there now makes no sense. It is very confusing. You, your whole life, no longer, you are questioning it at every level. And it, it's pretty hard for people around you as well, because they're like, what, what, what's going on? You know, why are you acting like this? They can't understand what is going on. A spiritual awakening is not an easy process. So I really want to stress here that the journey and what stage divine masculine is at, you will know from what stage you are at. If you're in a chasing energy, if you are still thinking about what they are doing, what they are not doing, when are they going to come back? How is this going to fix itself? Then you are early on in the journey. And you may say to me, well, no, Kat, I've been on this journey 10 years or five years or three years or a year or six months. I'm not early on in the journey. Six, you know, if it was six weeks, I'd be early on in the journey. This is, this is a timeless journey. This journey is about you shifting out of the ego mind and shifting in to soul. This is a soul's journey. When you shift into soul, the journey becomes beautiful. The journey, you start to see it from that eagle perspective. You see it from a higher perspective. Perspective. You start to shift and shift out of dualarity and move into singularity. You realize that the journey is a formless journey. Now, this is not easy, this shift, but you know, the the recommendations of, you know, getting out of all that addictive energy. If, you, if you're still in addictive, silly energy, you maybe need to block them. You maybe need to release the physical form and shift into soul. Make the journey about you. The kundalini, the shakti energy that is rising within you is your life force es um, essence. It's your life force energy and it's there so you create a life that becomes unshakable, that you step fully into your power. Now, most people prefer just to focus on divine masculine, but that will keep you in pain, that will keep you looping. And what I recommend that you do is self-inquire and think, you know, have I gone through a Kundalini activation? Have I gone through Dark Night of the Soul? Does everything now no longer make sense? Have those core wounds been activated? And often, you know, 99% of the time, you will feel, once that separation is built, you will feel physical pain, either in the solar plexus, the sacral, or the heart chakra. People have gone to the A&E or the doctor's hospital, wherever you are in the world, I know we all call it different things, um, but they've gone there thinking, you know, I'm having a severe panic, panic, panic attack or, you know, I've got something wrong with me because I'm in so much pain only to have everything checked out and them, them come back home and try and understand what is going on. So really start to look at what is going on in your energy. That's how you shift the journey. Divine masculine responds to your frequency. As you elevate and shift into a higher frequency and a higher state of consciousness, it automatically shifts them because they respond to your energy, your one energetic system. You're the conscious part you're aware of the journey, they're the subconscious part. Now, I know you're probably going to go, no, my divine masculine knows all about my journey and my divine masculine's pretty spiritual. I have worked with many divine masculines and some that I would go very, these, you know, they, they've got an incredible spiritual practice. They're doing this work full time. You know, they are deeply dedicated, but they still do not understand the journey at the same level just because you divine feminine are the lead in this you lead the dance you know it's like nature really you know if we look at nature if we look at birth and life you know divine feminine leads always birth always you know the creation 
And so allow yourself to really observe where am I? This is a journey of getting really honest with yourself. This is a journey of stepping into your power and taking back and really being a conscious spiritual being of going, where am I on my journey? You know, am I believing that this journey is happening to me or is it happening for me? And I'm going to start to shift and grow. You'll see by the comments, you know, over YouTube, people, you know, that have written on my site that have said, you know, only yesterday I received a few comments from people saying, you know, I've been watching you now months, Kat, and I was in that crazy addictive energy. But since listening to you and starting to do the work and making the journey about me, my divine masculine is coming slowly back in and we're starting to balance that energy. But here's the thing, while ever you make it about them, that's making it, you're in that runner chaser energy. This is not a normal connection. This is a dance of the one soul. If you need more help and support, my website is there. My Twin Flame course is there. It's there to support you so you understand. So you get out of that crazy, toxic, looping, painful energy. This is not a journey for you to stay in pain. This is a journey for you to expand and stand in your sovereignty and know that you are here to have this incredible, incredible life. I send you so much love, many blessings.